Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I want to let you know that tonight's normal 4.30 Eastern Standard Time video release is being moved to 8.30 because it's our first live stream you know, Q&A related to the Project Homestead series. So if you have any questions related to homestead building, retreat building, or any of that kind of stuff, I've been through it once before, I'm going through it again right now, and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. Amber's gonna be on board tonight with us so that she'll be able to kind of uh, filter the questions and, you know, bring her own magic to the whole thing. Uh, we also have some bouncers on board, some moderators to help keep the trolls out. I've been told that a lot of trolls like to hop on these things, so if you want to bring your bigoted, angry comments and, and plaster them all over the comment boards, do your best. Get some bouncers. I've been warned that it, it can be a thing. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I hope to see you guys there. Again, that's 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Remember, in the United States right now, we're in Daylight Savings Time. So if you're an international viewer and you want to uh, you know, join in with that, it, uh, the Universal Coordinated Time is 12.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. March 16th is when the live stream will be happening. I, you know, we, we do this thing, we set our clocks forward and everything. It has something to do with farming. I don't know. But anyway, 12.30 a.m. Universal Coordinated Time is when it's happening or 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, United States. And we're in Daylight Savings Time. So yeah, hope to see you guys there. Had a tip about matches. A lot of times people buy these big boxes of matches, like 250 matches in this box. Whenever I buy these, and these are something I use around the house, I don't, I don't like bring a big box like this camping or whatever, but I'll use these around the house for lighting fires, and oftentimes I find that there's more matches than there are strike pad on the side. Like a lot of times you can see right here, my strike pads oftentimes will wear through before I finish off with the matches. So one thing I'll do uh, to kind of create a solution to that is, you know these little matchbooks you get? Oftentimes these have more strike pad than they have matches. So whenever I finish up one of these and it has some strike pad left, what I'll do is I'll take this and just slip it right into the box. So then when I run out of strike pad on the side, I can use little strike pads on the inside. That's, that's just a little quick tip if you're ever using these guys because it's kind of a pain if you're using safety matches and you run out of strike pad because, you know, it can be hard to light a match without a strike pad. That's it. Hope to see you guys tonight, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, Daylight Savings Time tonight. If you have any questions, Amber's there, like I said, and we'll be rocking for half an hour between 8.30 and 9. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.